sing along with that guy? <laughs> Have mercy. All right. Service with some cocktails if you'd like. Here are a few facts about the boat itself. The spirit of Ethan Allen 3 is 140 feet long from stem to stern. It is 33 feet wide and it has a maximum draft of 6 feet. The south end of the Great Water also has a lighthouse that flashes at night and that one is visible for 6 miles. The reason for the difference in the intensity of these lights is to aid a mariner approaching harbor at night so they can distinguish between which end. This is the U.S. Coast Guard Station Burlington. Station Burlington has a very difficult back to 1609. That's when Samuel D. Champlain, the first European to discover the lake, and a rather modest fellow naming the lake after himself, made notations in his ship's log of having sighted a large reptilian-type creature surfacing on the lake. Also, the largest mass sighting of Champ occurred from the decks of our old boat, the Spirit of Ethan Allen 1. In 1984, 70 passengers observed Champ as it surfaced in a small bay known as Apple Tree Bay, to the north of us. Then with just a little imagination, you will see the side profile of an old Indian sheep. Yeah. That's the old Indian of Lake Champion. Yes. Because we are moving, it lasts for just a few seconds. So anyone who wishes to photograph this should be ready now. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it? <laughs> I can't see it from here. Uh, it's just playing down a stair when you're yeah. over there. Looking that way. Uh, Odziazzo created all the beauty of the Champlain Valley. He then turned himself into stone and placed himself where he could keep an ever watchful eye over his beautiful creation.
Oh, plenty of eggs. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, it, you know. Does anybody know why cows wear bells? Why? That's because their horns don't work. <laughs> it's actually not funny at all, uh, very serious. It sounds it's disgusting. We said, you know what? Let's put this flavor in production. So we did. It is disgusting. But there's also a nut warning on this flavor. There are no nuts inside of this ice cream, uh, but the candies are made in a different factory, so we can't guarantee there's no cross contamination of any sort. Uh, so if anything up here concerns you, you can feel free to talk to myself. Cherry Garcia has a close number two, so brownie. Uh, then chocolate fudge brownie is the other half of this flavor, so another very good guess. Johnny. <laughs> now can I, okay, um, but can I do? Can I work that thing? I did it. Okay. I just hope it took. So good. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's it. Oh my good! Was there a speak? Was there? Re did, I wasn't being recorded, was I? I'm quite. Not country. you. No, oh, good. No, no, I no. Quite, no. I mean, I'm usually quite country. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, no, I think you. I'm a little bit country. Press the button and we film that. Good. Yeah. Good enough. You. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.
bound up. What's and all? <laughs> So she's not allowed to um, attend school and needs a tutor to come in and homeschool her. And that's where Maria Augusta Kuchkera enters the family. She was born January 26 of 1905. Um, her mother... <laughs> um, there's six of the children and some in-laws and um, the captain and Maria. Sixth child. And, and Johanna, she wanted to get married back in 1948 and Maria was worried because now all the children are leaving the singing troupe and, um, and so she locked And there they did mission work for about three years um, and Tina Sacrament. wanted to be married because in the 19, at the end of the 48 and on, the children were all starting to get married. She didn't die of a heart murmur, that's what she was, um, why Maria came into the family. So she lived the longer. She was 99 and a half when she passed. Okay. Rest in peace, Maria. Um, over here is Werner. I knew his aunts and uncles, or my aunts and uncles, his brothers and sisters, they were always older with me. 